I'm leaning on my arm because I don't have a desk to lean on right now. Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave and welcome back to Trilby's Notes. I don't like the whispering. What's this way? Feeds. Okay. There is meat. Can I take the meat? Take meat. I tore off a lump of meat to take with me that came up against anything hostile and carnivorous in this place. It would help to have something other than myself to offer it. Yeah. I think the only thing that's carnivorous that appears in this game, if I remember correctly, would be bugs. Open door. Kitchen doors refused to open. Wow. Shysta. Well, there's literally nothing I can do in here right now. I am kerplunked. Yeah. I'm kerplunked. How about open this door? This door was locked. Okay. Run. Would you stop with the whispering? Priest or prisoner? Acolyte or slave? Okay. Open door. Wasn't close enough. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Open door. The door was stuck shut. Well... Just in case there's something deadly inside. Oh. Uh Oh boy. Oh, everything's going crazy. Stop. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh save. Just in case I feel like I'm going to go bazonkers if I don't do this. So Okay. Open door. Door was stuck shut. Sheesh, buddy. Open door. That. Oh, there has to be somewhere to go. It kind of just seems like you're throwing me in circles here, buddy. I don't remember which floor I... Okay, so this is the floor I started on. What's up? I want to go up. There's another entryway. Okay. Man. Not man. Open door. Door stuck. Why are all the doors stuck shut? Open. 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 Door. Why are all the doors stuck shut? Who's inside? Open. Open. Door. Chizo. Love me. Who the hell is Chizo? Actually, I think I know who he is, but I'm not positive about that. Look. Bed. A bloodstained stone altar replaced the bed. Well, alright then. What was the point in going in there? Open door. Who the f... Is 
Is that a pentagram? Oh, Lord. Bring her back. Who the hell is her? Look. The stairwell was built from old concrete, and a thick smell of damp filled the air. Strangely, there was some kind of dismembered porcelain dummy mounted to one of the walls. Glad that dummy ain't me. As dumb as I is. I don't want that dummy to be me. I don't want to be pinned to the wall for no absolute reason. I don't want to be pinned to the wall, period. <laughs> Do stop it with the whispering! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, look. Something in the corner. Look, corpse. The body was that of a young, muscular man. I hazarded and was wearing some kind. I hazarded. And what? Whatever. A young muscular man and was wearing some kind of old fashioned military uniform, complete with blue tunic and riding boots. More to the point, his head was missing and his hands were worn down to bloody wads of flesh and bone. Yeah. I noticed a collection of handwritten pages on the floor near his body. Look, pages. They appeared to be entries from a diary. Oh, here we go. July 18th. Felicia and I took shelter from the storm in a decrepit old hotel in the forest. It seems to be completely deserted, so we bedded down on the floor of the lobby for the night. It is so peaceful here. The noise of the storm seems far away. I just realized I'm not using the accent I was using last time I should. July 19th. Exploring the hotel, it has become increasingly clear that the place is not as innocent as it first seemed. We found ancient corpses and evidence of terrible deeds in several of the rooms. The storm has cleared, and we intend to leave as soon as possible. The murderous figure in black, the one whose body is savagely stretched into a mockery of form, is not the architect of this nightmare. Rather, this is the work of that hideous lord of the Forbidden Lands. Gods forgive me. I built a shrine to my captor in the lobby in an attempt to appease it. Nothing has changed. I have no more food. The horror is starting to affect my mind. I am certain my mind is going I imagine for a moment that the hotel had changed and had become finely decorated and welcoming as it must have once been in the past. I blinked and it returned to its normal hateful self. The next few pages was the next few pages were spri uh, sprinkled with blood, obscuring some of the text. What? What is his rela relationship to that disgusting beast? Is he a servant or a prisoner? Sometime he a acts alone. Sometimes at the behest of higher power. What does he want from me? He is after me now. I think I must have done s something wrong. August 4th. It hurts. That was the last readable entry. I decided not to take them with me. They were covered in blood and all stuck together. Okay. Let's go lobby then. Where the hell do you want me to go? Open. 
Dior. Uh, wow, even out here looks bad. Okay, just, just, just look. The hotel, ex the hotel's exterior was as corrupted as its interior. The ground beneath my feet was hard, red and gritty, like des desiccated clay. Open door. Look, body. Someone had been tied down to the altar, flayed, and had their innards removed. By the looks of the horrible claw marks and broken fingernails, they had been alive at least part way into the procedure. Look. The entrance of the altar. Okay. Look. Uh, cubbies. I didn't, okay, that's not the. That's not what they're called. I'll go this way then. Can I open this door? Open door. I can. Okay. I don't think I tried that. Look. Counter. Keeping with the alternate hotel's theme, the furniture looked like someone had been hurled against them with absolutely fatal force. Lying on the bar in a pool of gore was a pair of long-nosed pliers. Take pliers. They were, they were rusty but functional. I took them with me. I'm going to assume I can only use those pliers once. Isn't this the guy I saw earlier? It's Slenderman! What's he doing in this game? Open door. Okay. Really quick. Save. And again. Same as last time. Mouse save 2. Use pliers on... Uh, on door. I should probably be more specific. Okay. Use pliers on nails? The nails were hammered into the boards too far. I couldn't get a grip on them with the pliers. Okay. How about this one then? Use Pliers on body. The pliers were ideal for removing the nails. Hi! What are you? I seriously. What is that thing? It feeds. Okay. Just in case. Yeah. Hello. I'm the spastic saber, Nas Dave. All right, open door. A bathroom, and on the wall you've got graffiti. No. Look. Counter. The counter had two sinks and was covered in filth and mold. To my surprise, a brand new sealed envelope was sitting between the basins. Take on Ven on Ven Lope envelope. Oh my God! I can't. Sp Wasn't close enough. Really, dude. Fine. Take on Lope. Thank you. Baffled, I took the envelope. It was strangely bulky and tore it and tore it open. A white pill bottle and a note fell in. Out into my hand. I hear in what? I, I, I hold on. Let me. I 
I found the note enclosed with this report. Trilby, if you're reading this, then you too have seen the hotel change. At present, I have no idea if the alternative hotel is part of the ethereal realm or some kind of construct, a pocket dimension. There is a definite correlation between one's level of agitation and one's tendency to, rea to reality shift. Fear is your enemy. It leaves you shining with a beacon for whatever evil brought us to this place. Enclosed is a bottle of tranquilizers from my personal first aid kit. When you find yourself shifting into the other place, take a pill and try to calm down, and the real hotel will return. Do not let it concern you. I am researching the phenomenon. Your task is to find Defoe. Good luck. Agent Linkman. Linkman's letter raised more questions than it answered. I pocketed the pill bottle. Uh, well, I don't know what's going to happen if I take the pill. I do not remember what's going to happen at least. So I'm going to save really quick. Yeah. Again, spastic saver Nas Dave here. All right, take pill. Hesitantly, I tipped a tranquilizer into my palm and swallowed it without water. It quickly took effect. I felt the anxiety lift from the pit of my stomach and my dismal surroundings seemed to feel less imposing. Then I felt that strange sensation, again, of lightheadedness and detachment as the world around me began to quiver. Yay, I'm in a normal bathroom now. <sighs> that was not fun. Okay, open door. Okay, open door. It appeared to be locked, probably by a deadbolt on the other side. Maybe, I don't know. Go this way. And can I just take the painting? Take painting. As I stepped closer, I could feel sound becoming muffled and my head spinning as if I were about to faint. My hand, as if pulled by an invisible string, reached out towards the clumsy brush strokes. Wait, what's going on? Depot Manor, July 28th, AD 1821. Matthew Defoe is 15 years old today. He's excitedly putting the finishing touches to a painting which his father commented on encouragingly. The first time he has ever been supportive of Matthew's artistic leanings. Matthew is now convinced that his father is lifting from the mysterious depression that has plagued him for as long as either of them can remember. Yeah, you. we all wish it was depression, man. Now he intends to make the painting absolutely perfect before showing it again. Hello? Master Matthew, Sir Roderick has requested your presence in the trophy room. Thank you, James. And if you would be so good to inform him that I will now be retiring for the night. Very good, James. Okay. Ah, there you are, boy. Let me introduce my son, Matthew. Hello. This is my friend, uh, something. He's an expert on African tribal... Would you slow down? Well, just a scholar. Hardly even that. Just someone... Okay, seriously? <laughs> He's offered to assess the figurine I brought back from my travels. I wasn't aware you had a family, Sir Roderick. Is your wife home too? Oh. Regrettably, Belinda is no longer with us. Oh, I'm sorry. Quite all right. You couldn't have known. She succumbed to illness shortly after Matthew was born. I finished the painting I showed you, Father. Oh, good. Well, Mr. Smith, 
Would you do... Oh, God, I can't even read it now. The design is reminiscent of a few Central African tribal gods I'm aware of. But to be honest, I've never seen anything like this before. May I ask how you acquired it? I'm glad you asked. It was 20 years ago, when I was a younger man on my first travels in the Dark Continent. We were traveling along the west coast when our bearers spotted a ship that had run around, aground. It was an English clipper named the Sea Angel, and a short exploration revealed that every single crew... Oh my god. Of course, we immediately sent a letter to the nearest embassy to report it. But the point is, it was on the lowest deck of the ship that I found the very figurine you see before you today. What an extraordinary tale! But how do you account for there being an African tribal... Yeah, something... <sighs> you were as confused as you are. Was it a slave trading vessel? How does that take effect in, like, the kind of thing you have there? I was hoping you could shed a little light on the matter. But there is more to tell. I haven't even begun to recount the strange events that have surrounded the artifact. Would you care for a glass of brandy? Thank you. That would be most kind. Matthew, fetch the brandy from the kitchen and some glasses. Yes, father. Wait, am I put? Oh! Uh, touch brandy? That didn't make sense to Matthew. Open door. The door was locked as always, but there was a substantial gap of about an inch at the bottom of the door. Take. Randy. I think the reason... Matthew took the brandy bottle and a pair of appropriate glasses. Hello? You haven't tried to speak to me in a while. I did another painting today. I showed it to Father, and he said it was promising. I keep trying to tell him about you. But he never listens. You haven't knocked for me in so long, I was beginning to wonder. Hey, do you want to see my painting? Is that, is that the only response? I'm just not sure how to get it to you. Uh. Look. Floor. The foam manor's kitchen was small and somewhat sparsely furnished in contrast to the wealth of the house as a whole. Besides the sideboard, the only furniture was a large wooden table and a narrow drinks cabinet in the corner. Eh. Well. I'm actually going to leave this video here. We'll figure out how to, uh, we'll, we'll figure out how to hand, uh, John the painting next time. If you don't know why I'm saying that, then you check out the, go ahead and go check out the, uh, video, the first video at least, uh, for... Five Days a Stranger in the video in the bottom right hand corner over there or if you missed the last episode or what, however many episodes there are at the point in time just click the box across from my head uh, over there uh, and if you got any suggestions for me for any other horror games just let me know in the comments below however in the meantime I'm out and I'll see you guys next time bye